Hey YouTube, uh, Bibles and Barbells here, and I want to do a quick video today, but before I do, I'd like to give a couple shout outs uh, and thanks to Southern Prepper One and East Coast Prepper for their, um, their teaching on this and their demonstrating in their videos on how to obtain food uh, storage uh, with the Latter-day Saints in your area. And once I saw their videos, I did some research down here in the Florida area where I am, and I found a local uh, LDS cannery uh, near my house, fortunately. And I called, uh, actually I called two times. I wasn't successful getting in on the first time. Second time I called, I was, uh, I was able to get in on a Thursday at 6 p.m. Uh, they were open from 6 to 8 p.m. It was a few miles from where I worked, and I basically went in and, and met with the, uh, it was the lady that opened, was with her son and the husband, and they were running the, the cannery that night. And when I went in, they were really nice. They sat down with me and talked with me, um, gave me a tour of the place, uh, showed me a um, price sheet that they go by, um, which is this here. This is my receipt. And basically everything is laid out in number 10 cans, uh, pouches, and uh, bulk, which would be 25-pound bags. And then everything is priced accordingly per whatever unit that you're buying. I, uh, my first time there, went with a budget. I took a couple hundred dollars in with me, and uh, I ended up getting what you see in front of me here, uh, which is mostly number 10 cans. The cases are six number 10 cans per case and as you can see um, starting at the bottom here I got two cases of rice white rice I got a case each of uh, hard red winter wheat and white wheat I got a case of apple slices dehydrated apple slices and you can see the little label on the box there uh, I got a case of white beans white beans and then a case of quick oats of six number 10 quick oats. And then there was a case of what's called complete instant potatoes. They're for shorter term storage or I'm going to use them for uh, everyday use and basically they look like this. There's 12 28 ounce bags of instant potatoes and you just add hot water and they're ready to go. That's a shorter term storage item. You can you know put those in a bucket with mylar and seal them up. And then I bought these uh, I believe they're five pound bags of spaghetti, of pasta. Uh, it tells you when they're packed and they're sealed in a heavy duty mylar uh, bag. And I got uh, two five pound bags of those. Now these, a lot of these items happen to be already canned, which was great. I didn't have to can anything. Um, and also this uh, orange drink mix, it's like a tang like mix. And there you see the label when it was canned and there's the can sealed here's a can of the apple slices dehydrated apple slices and I'll op I opened one because I tried them out there's the oxygen absorber there's your dehydrated apples and I had a batch that I made up last night in the refrigerator with water and I'm using it in my oatmeal in the morning and so it's working out great so I was able to walk out of there with a $200 budget, I spent $195. I'm going back there on the 17th of February when they get their tractor trailer delivery. And I'm going to do another, you know, another bulk order, maybe another couple hundred bucks. And a lot of these items were like Southern Prepper and East Coast Prepper said. They're, they're, they're very inexpensive. The people are very nice. They're very helpful. They did uh, talk to me about their philosophy on food preparation and how you know the Mormons um, go about you know saving their money and investing in food prep which I totally agree with I mean it's a very wise and um, very wise endeavor to undertake they even shared a story with me uh, when the family was living in California her husband lost his job at United Airlines and they had been food prepping you know uh, for years and they had the problem is they had some cousins and some relatives living with them at the time. And when he lost his job, they went through the their food reserves fairly quickly. 
And um, they got down to the night where they had their last bowl of rice, she's telling me. And they each had their rice and they put a little sugar in it and they had no more food left. They were denied food stamps and the next day at their doorstep showed up cases and cases of food and their mortgage payment was taped to the door. And to this day, and now they're living in South Florida, to this day, they don't know who uh, you know, sent that food to them and, and the money to them. So they were very grateful for that. But they're very um, you know, high on preparing, uh, just like we are, and just like most people should be. This is one avenue of your long-term storage. A lot of these number 10 cans are good for 30 years on, at room temperature. Uh, they'll last you a long time. All you need to do is add water. And it goes along with my stuff that I've already put, uh, already prepared. So I just wanted to give a quick shout out, a quick thanks again to Southern Prepper, East Coast Prepper, whom I've been able to talk to on the phone um, and share some ideas with recently. It's uh, it's just a real joy to uh, talk to other preppers around the country, a Jewish prepper, a Brooklyn prepper, just uh, uh, so many out there that we're becoming friends with and we're looking forward to long relationships and uh, learning from each other because uh, we all live in different parts of the country. We have different climates and environments, different situations, and it's just really good to to network with each other and to, and to share ideas and to show what each of us are doing uh, to help ourselves and our families and, and those around us. So this is just a quick video on the food prep. Uh, thank you for watching. We thank you for all the new subscriptions. We're uh, very indebted to you and we just keep your emails coming and keep sharing your stories and your prepping um, videos. Um, we just thank you for everything and God bless and take care.